Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well and having a lovely, lovely day. So please bear with me on this video just because I'm using a brand new camera. Like I literally just took this camera out of the box a couple of hours ago. I was planning filming a different video today, which involved like me filming something in the morning, but I forgot that when you take a camera out of the box, the battery is not charged. So I've been waiting for it to charge over the last couple of hours. I just really wanted to try out my new camera and film a video on it today. So I wasn't able to film the video that I was initially gonna do because like I said, my battery wasn't charged charged and I needed it to be charged in the morning because it was like a 24 hour uh, challenge video but I'll just film that video another day and yeah I just thought why don't I just go to my favorite bakery get some good food sit in the car and chat with you guys because I've said this a million times these are my favorite videos to film because a it involves food and I love food and b it involves chatting to you guys and I love doing that and especially since my comments have been turned off I really miss doing that if I just randomly stop talking like I just did then it's because someone has pulled up in this car park and they're staring at me and I get awkward and also if I keep on looking over this way it's because my new camera the screen comes out to the side rather than up the top so I'm trying to like focus on the actual lens which will take me a while to get used to but anyways I'm gonna stop rambling and I'm just gonna eat food because that is what I'm here to do um so if you guys haven't heard me talk about Harry Gow before, where have you been? This is my favourite bakery, so it's a local bakery to me, so a lot of you guys probably will have never tried it, but if you live in the same area as me, or if you ever visit the Highlands, I would recommend that you try out Harry Gow's because they are the most incredible bakery. And do you know what? It's so typical. I thought, oh, I'll go to Harry Gow, I'll get like my favourite sausage roll, which I managed to get, and then I was like, I'll get my favourite cake, and I went into Harry Gow, and I don't know if I was just too late, um, because it's now like half past one, like everything goes so quick there because it is such a popular bakery. Um, but yeah, I think I was just too late because there was like no cakes left. So I got a birthday cake slice, which is still delicious, but I didn't manage to get my dream ring, which is literally the best thing ever. I think I've showed it to you guys in a video before, but it's literally amazing. So yes, I missed out on it, but that just means I have to go back again for another video so that I can show you guys this incredible dream ring. But anyways, I got a sausage roll and it's hot and wow, okay, it's burning my finger. Why am I literally such a disaster? How do I show you this? It's a sausage roll. <laughs> I mean, you don't really probably need to see it, but wow, it's hot. I'm gonna just have to eat it like this because it is too hot to hold. But who agrees with me when I say that nothing beats a hot sausage roll. Like it's so plain and simple but just so good. I cannot wait for this. And how do you guys sausage rolls are honestly the best ones I've ever tried. So first of all, let's talk about the fact that I have finally bought myself a new camera. Oh my gosh, I've needed a new camera for the longest time. But as you guys know, I'm one of those people that doesn't buy something new until like the one they already have is not no longer usable so I literally waited until the screen fell off my last camera and I couldn't even turn it on like the lens wouldn't open um before I bought this new camera YouTube is something that I have done for years now I really enjoy it I know that I'm gonna stick at it so I feel like you know it's worth spending money on like investing money into my channel because it's only gonna make my videos better and the quality of my videos better and it's something that I really enjoy and yeah I just don't feel like I spend my money on much else other than bills and stuff so it's nice to have a hobby and for me that's YouTube and most hobbies cost money so yeah I'm basically trying to justify <laughs> to myself why I bought this camera but it is a camera that I've wanted for so long honestly I'm so happy with my camera I know that this is my first time using it but even from filming this video, like I can see that the quality is so much better and I watch so many YouTubers who use this camera. By the way, it's the Sony ZV-1. Um, Molly May uses it and Ellie Darby. I'm sure there are tons of other YouTubers who also use this camera because it was basically made for vlogging. It literally says that on the packaging and everything. It's got amazing autofocus apparently, so let's just test it out. Like, look at that. It's just so quick. Look at that logo, guys. See? How quick is that autofocus? I'm hoping that it lasts because I know that whenever like in the past I've got a new camera I've always thought the autofocus was amazing and then it sort of wears off um, but hopefully like this one lasts quite a while. So yeah, long story short, I'm very happy with my camera. As I'm filming this, 
it's my birthday in a few days. My birthday is June the 11th. So, it's actually really funny because I kept on saying to Michael, because he kept saying to me, just buy a new camera. And I was like, not until it breaks. Or maybe I'll treat myself for my birthday. And literally, my camera broke like a week before my birthday. So, yeah, it was meant to be. So yeah, this is my birthday gift to myself and I'm honestly so in love with it and so over the moon. Has anyone else's mood just been like so much better ever since the restrictions have eased? I feel like that's why I was feeling so down was just because of lockdown and that has been made so clear to me now. Like ever since the restrictions have been eased, I have just felt like on cloud nine. So let me know if any of you guys relate. I mean, I know my comments are still turned off, but you can always message me on Instagram. Um, so yeah, if you're ever watching one of my vlogs or my videos and you want to talk to me about something or you see something and you need to, like you see something in my vlog and you think, oh, I, I want to know more about that or I want to say this about what the seal did or yeah, I want to talk more about what she did with her family over there, like just message me. Cause I know like I get a lot of messages saying how much you guys miss uh, being able to chat to me in the comments. And guys, I miss it so much too, like I honestly do. It feels weird for me when I upload a vlog and then like to have like no response almost um, because I am very used to, like whenever I used to upload a vlog, I would be straight on there reading the comments, liking them, replying to them. So I definitely do miss that because it's almost like, oh, I upload a vlog and although like I see that people are viewing it and the numbers, it kind of feels to me like no one's watching it because I don't know. Just when you get that response from people, it's really nice to know that they've watched it and enjoyed it and stuff. And I just want to say thank you to um, those people that do message me on Instagram to say that they're still enjoying my videos and loving my vlogs because it means a lot to me. And lots of you guys have been asking me on Instagram if I'm going to turn my comments back on. And as much as I would love to because I do miss um, the interaction with you guys, I honestly just feel like I can't um, just because... Like I say, I've just been feeling amazing ever since uh, lockdown restrictions have been eased, but also since I have turned my comments off. And as much as I miss talking to you guys and I miss that part of it, at least I still get to talk to you guys on Instagram. Whereas I feel like if I could turn the comments back on, yes, I'd be happy about being able to speak to you guys again, but the negatives sort of overweigh that and I don't want them to, but I know that like for a fact, if I turned the comments back on, I would just look at them. It would be the first thing I'd look at when I wake up in the morning. And if I see one bad comment, then that's me having an absolute rubbish day, you know? I've just had a much more positive mindset ever since my comments have been turned off because I'm only surrounded by positive people. Like I'm surrounded by my family who are positive and my friends and, you know, people at work who are positive and, I'm surrounded by you guys on Instagram who are positive but I honestly feel like if I turn my comments back on obviously all the negative that comes with a lot of negativity and I feel like if you're constantly surrounded by negativity then you constantly think negative things and you just feel down and it's just what you're surrounded by always reflects your mood. So never say never I might one day be able to feel like I can handle it again but for now, I'm just really enjoying being happy and I don't want to turn my comments back on and then that be it, I'm back to crying every single day. It's just not worth it. Um, but please don't think that that means that I don't value talking to you guys because I really do miss that. But I hope you guys can understand that it's just better for my mental health that I don't surround myself with that negativity. So I'm trying to think of what else is new with me because normally in these videos I would go on Instagram and ask you guys to ask me questions but I just recently did a Q&A over on my Instagram so I feel like I've answered all those questions. So I'm trying to think what's new with me. Oh yeah, I started walking a dog which has literally just had the most positive impact on my life and again my mental health and my mood and I'm just, oh I'm so happy. My car is literally covered in crumbs and I'm so thirsty. Guys, it's back. I got an iron brew. Oh my gosh, that autofocus is amazing. Sorry, I'm gonna be so annoying in my first couple of videos um, using this new camera. Some people might say I'm always annoying, but each to their own, whatever you think. Um, but yes, iron brew is back, baby. 
Oh, I always hate when it fizzes up like that. I'm like, oh my gosh, is it gonna explode? <laughs> Who remembers my older videos where all I drank was Iron Brew? Like it was the one and then Diet Coke took over. Um, but now I sort of switch back and forth. I do still love an Iron Brew though. It's just Diet Coke is like my one true love now, but this is still amazing. But yeah, as I was saying, I now walk someone's dog for them. So I joined this website called borrowmydoggy.com. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Um, and you basically just sign up to it, make a profile, and there's people in there who have a dog and they're looking for some help, like someone to walk them or spend time with them, um, like in evenings, weekends, mornings. Like they just basically make a profile themselves of what they're looking for and then yeah you can get in touch with people and see if you know you're available at the times that they need help and stuff so yeah this owner got in touch with me uh we met up and went out for a walk with his dog and then i've been walking his dog ever since and i think it's such an amazing idea like it's so like it's such a nice idea um, to be able to help someone who needs that extra help with their dog and then also you know it's it's great for um, the people who actually go out and walk the dogs because it gives them company when they go out for walks um, you know it's been proven that I can never say that right proven or proven whichever one it is I'm pretty sure it's been proven that spending time with a dog um, or like uh, animal really improves your mental health and I can totally see why I've just been so happy like I just love it so much I really enjoy it I was really missing the company when I was going out for walks I just felt a bit lonely just because you know whenever I went out for walks I was always used to having someone with me or like a dog or whatever um but ever since I moved out I just pretty much go out walking on my own and I absolutely love it don't get me wrong like I love going for walks going out for walks has been what has got me through all of the lockdowns and I feel like um um, lockdown has really made me appreciate the outdoors more and just getting fresh air and just how much it does wonders for your mental health and just being able to get outside and clear your head um, yeah I just feel like fresh air does you the world of good anyways I'm gonna get my cake out now I've literally had to hide it so it doesn't melt because it is so warm today. I don't know why I always decide to film these videos on the warmest of days because like it's warm enough outside but then you come in the car and it's literally like you cannot breathe. <laughs> it's a sauna in here. Oh my gosh this looks so good but I think it's melting. So this is a birthday cake slice. Um, so if you've ever been to Harry Guys you will know that they make the most beautiful birthday cakes. My mum um, like always got us a birthday cake from Harry Gow and like personalised it and got our name in it and you can get like different colours of icing and stuff and yeah it's always just been my favourite kind of birthday cake ever since I was young just because oh the icing just everything the cream like the jam it's just it's all just like the perfect proportions amounts but yeah this is it up close look how good yes i'm devastated that i didn't get my dream ring but this is super yummy as well so oh my gosh it is super melted though <laughs> oh god i feel sorry for you guys having to watch me eat this actually like why did i think this was a good idea to eat cake on a really hot day in a car where it's gonna melt and you guys watch me eat it like what was going through my mind so yeah most evenings when i come home from work i just go and collect my little doggy friend and i take her out for a super long walk like we're away for at least two hours every single night i enjoy it so much i enjoy having a little friend and she's just so sweet and she's so cute and she's just so friendly and adorable she's just such a friendly giant and she's honestly brought so much joy to my life so if you're like me and you cannot commit to having your own dog because of like work commitments or because your landlord doesn't allow pets um, then definitely have a look on borrowmydoggy.com I know this sounds like an ad but it's not I wish it was because it's an amazing website um, but yeah I just wanted to recommend it to you guys because yeah if anyone's feeling lonely and just wants a doggy friend then 
check it out. I'm just so excited that life is finally looking up again. Like the weather is good, you can see friends, you can see family, you can go out and do more things and go to more places and see more people. It's just great. Like I am going to the cinema soon for the first time in like forever and I cannot tell you how excited I am to go to the cinema. Like it's the little things in life. I'm so glad that we're all appreciating the little things in life more because I feel like I've always been good at that but I just feel like I appreciate it even more now. What videos do you guys want to see from me in the future? Because I know I've been saying this for like the longest time, but I honestly feel like I'm at a dead end with this channel. Like my vlogging channel, I absolutely love. I'm so happy with it. Like, yes, I don't film really exciting videos, but I feel like the people who are subscribed to my vlogging channel, they know that and they like that and they like that. I just have like an everyday boring life um, but they are happy to watch that because they find it relatable but I feel like on this channel I feel like the majority of you guys are subscribed for food related content which is absolutely fine because that's how most of you found me was through my um, was through my what I in a day videos but I don't know I just feel like I just don't know where to go with this channel because yeah, I just feel like there's only so many 24 hour challenges you can do and I feel like if I want to film another video, like say this video, yes it's food related but because it's not a wine I eat in a day video, like I just feel like people won't enjoy it and stuff. So I just don't know where to go with this channel. I just feel very lost with it. Like, I don't know. I feel like that's why I don't really film much on this channel. Um, but yeah. Just being honest, I feel lost with it. I don't know how much further I can go with it. I know that I have said, um, like, eventually I will only have my vlogging channel because, you know, whenever I have kids and stuff, I do want to continue my vlogging channel um, and sort of make it into a family channel. That, that would be really cool. I would absolutely love to do that. But yeah, this channel, I don't really know how much further I can take it or what I can do with it. I don't understand why the screen has gone so dark. I don't even know if I'm recording right now. But yeah, just bear with me with this new camera because I'm gonna have to play about the settings and stuff. But I think I might just end this video here because I don't really know what it was. It was kind of just me chatting stuff. But yeah, um, I'm really excited because like I said, it's my birthday on Friday and Michael's actually got the day off so we're going to spend the day together. I'll probably vlog it, um, but probably as this video goes up, it might eat. I don't even know when this video is going up so my birthday might have passed, I'm not sure. And then as for my birthday, I'm actually on holiday for a whole week so I'm off work for a whole week and I'm so excited. I hope it's nice and sunny like it has been lately so I hope the weather stays nice for that. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. Obviously, you know, we can't really go anywhere or anything but I'm just excited to have time off work and I'm going to try and do like a couple of day trips and stuff and just like hopefully if the weather's nice, um, like go to different beaches and things like that. I am just yeah making the most of what we can do and just enjoying some time off work so I'm really excited about that um so make sure you're subscribed to my vlogging channel if you want to follow what I get up to but yeah I hope you guys have enjoyed this video sorry it's a bit of a random one um I didn't really have much planning to it but yeah hopefully you guys can help me out with some other video suggestions remember you can message me on my instagram um but yeah i hope you guys are all doing well and that you're enjoying the weather and you're enjoying having a bit more freedom in your life sorry guys my camera just cut me off because it's run out of charge so i need to speak really really quickly thank you so much for watching guys and i'll see you again in my next video bye